So guys, I just got back, uh, well, I just got my uh, mystery tackle box and uh, lucky tackle box in for November, but I haven't even opened up, well, I've opened them up, but I haven't really dug into my October boxes yet. So we'll just call this video um, an unboxing for both the uh, months of October and November for the uh, mystery tackle box subscription and the lucky tackle box subscription. Forgive my attire, I just got off from work, so I'm still wearing my scrubs. And, um, well, heck, let's go ahead and dig into the details. Um, this is my first time to do one of those unboxings of the uh, MTV or um, Mystery Tackle Box or the uh, Lucky Tackle Box reviews. Um, I'm not really reviewing it, I'm just telling you what I got because I know there's several versions of this box every month. I didn't even have a chance to go over last October's um, um, unboxing or, or their box. So I'm going to do that really quickly and I got my two new boxes in. Um, just last week so uh, I got two uh, cameras going on here and I'll try to uh, do the best I can I'll flip back and forth between cameras and stuff but the first thing I'll do is the uh, last month last October of the um, lucky tackle box let me try to put well it's, there you go and can this other camera see it yep all right, and I've already gone through this box, but we'll just take the card out and just back up a little bit. These kind of boxes, it's a subscription-based. Every month, you get a new box, and you get, um, oh, basically new baits for you to try out, to try to challenge yourself, right? So um, not only that, some of these baits are... Um, pretty new. They're they're not on the market yet, so you're gonna see them and you get to try them out before you can find them on uh, Tackle Warehouse or the Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's or whatever, you know. So uh, we'll start out with last October's box, and um, that was the um, Throwback Lures. Um, actually, the Square Bill. I'll try to show it to you here and here. And it's just a, your basic um, square bill um, crankbait. But unfortunately, it doesn't say how deep. Usually, it's like between um, three and five feet for a lot of these baits, but it's, it's not. I, it, it, I mean, it doesn't say. So I'm just going to assume that it is. And uh, I like the color. And it's kind of a good color for right now. It's like a baby bass, but you know, a lot of it has that shad looking um, uh, look at look. There you go. So that was the first one for um, last October of the tackle box. Um, they start doing these card things. So like you get it and then they get on YouTube on a certain date and time and they start uh, calling out these numbers here that you see and you win something. Well, I didn't win anything but um, last month, but anyway, look for it again. Um, I guess in recognition of uh, October being, um, you know, the cancer, breast cancer awareness, Mustad Hooks came out with a... Um, their own version of um, a weighted um, hook for um, swim jigs or worms or whatever you want. So, got that. And um, here's the next one. V&M um, has a, um, it's not a jig, but it is a jig head. 
So basically what you would do, I imagine, is kind of use it like a, um, um, maybe, you know, Texas rig something, but put this in front of it and, and go at it. So that's kind of what I would do. Uh, now we've got some soft baits here, hoax fish. Take a look at this. There you go. And let me pull one out. Let's see what it smells like. The usual motor oil or something. Nothing wild and crazy. And you know, it looks like a, a creature bait. No big deal. And you know, you can use it for a chunk, for a, you know, a jig or something, or you can Texas rig it. Um, that's one of the two things I would do with it. What else could I do with it? Texas rig. Um, and you probably want to pull these appendages, they come off, right? So you can get more action wiggling it around and stuff down below. But yeah, that's what I would do. I'd put it on a chunk of, as a chunk for a, um, a, a jig or, um, um, you know, just whatever, right? See what else is here? Oh, okay. Um, Big bot bait has something here. Let's see if I can open it up. Yeah, I haven't even opened up this stuff. This is from October, by the way. I mean, I know I told you that. But, uh, another motor oil, oil smell. I don't know. There looks like it's heavily salted. Um, you know, just Texas rig it. I, I, I don't know. You could even probably, um, you know, wacky rig it right in here if you wanted to. But you could probably use it for a trailer for a jig. That's what I would do. Um, oh, also, you know, think about this. Um, oh, what's that rig called? Um, the Nico rig, you could probably Nico it, or um, what's the um, that little jig head that you can um, get for um, that's like a Nico, uh, the turd, uh, the God, I can't remember what it is, but you know it's that little little jig thing that so when you bring it across, it just kind of floats up like this, you know, and it attracts the attention. Uh, what else is in this box? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, you got the uh, the uh, Lucky Tackle Box sticker, no big deal. And then you got the uh, Fish Hound Magazine, which has a lot of good tips in it. So that's it for uh, October's um, uh, subscription box. And this is just their regular box. It's not their pro box. So no sense in when I open up the other one uh, to do a comparison because it's not apples, apples, oranges, and oranges. This is the regular box. Whereas this next box, the um, MTV Mystery Tackle Box, this is the pro version of it. So uh, let's take a look inside here. Now, um, here's the first one I see here. It's kind of like a jig, but it's not weighted. And they call it uh, zero gravity. And I'm not, I've never even tried this, I don't know. I've seen some videos on YouTube and basically, instead of hitting the, the bottom of the um, lake or pond or whatever, it kind of floats, kind of a little suspended, especially if you probably put a, a floating um, trailer on it or something. And uh, I mean, it, it just looks like a regular um, jig with a hook, right, with a hook, but, um, it's, it's no weight and from some of the videos I've seen it's kind of like floats around you know so I haven't given it a try give it a try um, tell me what you think next one is Charlie's Worms I think I've had some of these before I think this is actually a um, uh, a fluke thing let's open it up and make sure yeah and it's uh, you know green um, I don't know if it's gonna focus in real well or not it's gonna focus in here maybe 
But anyway, it's your uh, basic flute. And um, I love these things. I used it on my last fishing vacation. I didn't catch anything, but I, I just like the swimming action of them, right? Um, again, you know, Texas rig. And that's what I do. You do the Texas rig, do Carolina rig with it. Um, what else? Mojo for that ultra finesse stuff. So here's another one, Yum. And it looks like it's just, uh, what does it say here? Green pumpkin, um, worms. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah. Um, take a look. And, I mean, Texas rig, you could do um, Carolina Mojo, uh, even Wacky Rig, you know, so it's like, you know, floating like this down below. That's what I do. No big deal. Um, here's something you get, the scent. Uh, Bass, Bass, Bass Dynasty scent. What does it say here? Um, I don't know. Let's take a, not a look, but a smell. I don't know. It's crossed between motor oil and um, garlic, so this to get your scent off the lure, right? They also gave you a bunch of uh, three aught um, offset hooks, which might do just real well with this, and with Charlie's worms, and yeah, for that box. Oh, here's something. Um, Arashi, uh, square bill. And I just bought some of these like a month ago. Um, well, a month before October. And um, didn't really have a chance to try them out though, but one more to my list, right? It's a crankbait. And self tuning, because um, it has this. I'm not sure if we can point this out, and it's just too blurry. I can't get it in focus, but um, the uh, yeah, it's the phone you hear. I'm not answering the phone. Um, but anyway, it says self-tuning, and it's because it's has a unique little. Um, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, but some little structure to help it stay straight. But let's see. Running depth, five feet. Okay, there you go. Uh, what's this? River to sea. Bubble walker. I think this is a top water. Alaboni shad. I can go ahead, you can't really tell. Let me go ahead and take it out for you. Yeah, it's a top water. Uh, it looks neat. Um, you can tell it's a top water from the um, the open lip there, and I don't know. Top water is top water, right? So um, use it in the mornings, right? Just set this aside, and of course. Mr. Tackle Box always gives you a sticker. This is the um, uh, the Bass Pro version sticker. The regular box has their own different sticker. And um, as usual, you get a little card telling you uh, what all the baits you have and the approximate pricing. So, you know, if this is $25, if you pay $25 for this Pro Box, you usually get something like, you know, $35 to $45 worth of baits. And um, Mystery Tackle Box also has their own little um, uh, magazine full of tips and tricks and stuff like that. So and it's called the Dibble Dig Digest. So we'll just throw all this stuff back in and we'll move on to uh, this month's, the November version of um, the unboxing of Mystery Tackle Box and um, Lucky Tackle Box. 
Now next month I upgraded my Lucky Tackle Box to Pro version, that way I can get more of a comparison. But I think after, in the beginning of the year, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the um, Inshore series because I'm down here on the Gulf Coast and I got more bass stuff than I'll ever need, right, for lures and whatever. But um, I need to go ahead and take advantage of where I'm at and start doing more inshore type of stuff. But anyway, we'll, like we start off for the October for, with Lucky Tackle Box, we'll start off for the um, Lucky Tackle Box for November. Alright, first thing I see here is Cabin Creek and it uh, looks like a creature bait. It looks like a craw bait. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, it has more of a plastic uh, motor oil um, uh, smell to it. It's not that big at all. But I have a feeling there might be something else in this box that we can use with it. Usually these boxes will come with a combination of um, plastics and the hooks and stuff that you can use interchangeably. So I'm going to just kind of put this aside and I actually played around with this earlier. It does um, float so you can hook it up to a, um, a Mojo rig or a Carolina rig or a weighted Texas rig and uh, or I still I'm at a loss of words right now where you have that little um, jig that acts like a Nico rig. Um, I, I just can't remember what it is right now. But anyway, that way it's like, you know, looking up at you and bouncing around like that on the bottom. So I'm just going to set this aside here. Oh, well, wow. Okay. This is interesting. This is the uh, wobble head. Let me go ahead and um, take this out for you and you can see what's going on. Took me a while to figure it out, but then, um, uh, Travis Moran with Lucky Tackle Box on their uh, YouTube channel um, described this. All it is is like a weighted crawfish tail and of course right here is where you tie your line to it and then here is a little twist where you can use your own hooks and bait something like this to it and then attach it to this. So um, you're pulling it around you know, let's see if I can, it's not staying in focus very well, but um, it's attached here and you're dragging it on the bottom and this thing waving around, drawing attention and uh, that type of thing. So, all you need are some hooks. Well, you saw earlier, I already got some hooks at 3 op. 3 op might be a little, little bit too big for this, but, um, you know, something to play around with a little later. So this is an interesting thing. I remember Travis Moran saying that um, this isn't even out on the market yet, which is, again, uh, one of my comments I said earlier, when you subscribe to these things, they'll have some products that aren't even out on the market yet. So let's see what else. Um, oh, well, can't go wrong. It's a um, crankbait, lipless crankbait. So let's open up. It's a crawfish color. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, I've, I've done this with inshore and um, lakes and ponds, and um, you just, you know, you can't go wrong with these guys. So this is from Bagley, and I don't really think I own a Bagley anything, except for the old um, vintage lures that I've been, like, building little displays for and, and putting them in. So anyway, um, I'll obviously give this a try because I know this is the uh, right color for just about any environment. So we'll put this aside. I'm happy with that. Swim baits. This is from, um, well, this is the Boyd Ducket series, a uh, four inch swim bait. Obviously, I'm going to take it out of the package so you can see it better. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a basic swim bait, no big deal, right? Let's see if I can. Um, you can uh, rig this weedless, Texas rig it, um, you know, Caroline, Mojo, whatever. Um, it's your basic swim bait. That's about it. Um, it's what I would do with it. So, oh yeah, you got some hooks here. 
Mustad hooks. Let's see what size was this? Uh, it says two to four, so it looks like uh, maybe there might be size two and four, or size two, three, and four. I don't know, but you know, if these hooks, uh oh, this is not good. Um, the hooks kind of stuck to the uh, tablecloth, but got them all, got them free. So if these wear out, well, I got replacements, right? Okay. Um, here we go. Let's see, we got another golden ticket, and that's my number there. Um, November 20th, two days from now. I'm um, gonna go on YouTube, and they're gonna have a big um, live um, uh, show or whatever, and uh, they're gonna call out these numbers, and if I get 20675 called, I'll win something. Most likely, it's gonna be, you know, one of their tackle boxes or something. Uh, let's see, and like uh, the last month's box, you got the Fish Hound magazine with tips and tricks and stuff, and they have their own little uh, sticker too, like uh, the Mystery Tackle Box stuff. So let me just throw all this stuff back in here, and we'll move on to the um, last box, which is will be the Mystery Tackle Box for... November 2016. Let's see if I can get this crankbait back in here without stabbing myself. I don't think so. I'm just gonna throw it in and set it aside. Okay, so this is our last box. The MTV Mystery Tackle Box for the month of November. Let's take a look. This is again what I got. A lot of you guys are gonna get something different. I know, but I'm just doing this little video to show you what I got. Uh, first thing is a swim jig. Uh, this is a um, a VNM, and no big deal. It's a half ounce black and blue blue flake. Um, no mystery to this, it's a jig. Um, now here's what I like. Some salt baits here from um, Big Bite Baits. And these are just flukes. And no big deal. We've all seen these before. And you know what? These would work pretty well inshore too. So, and I kind of used these on uh, my last fishing trip. Again, I mean, if you saw those videos, didn't catch anything, unfortunately, but um, I had fun, you know, playing around with new equipment and new baits. So here's a, another soft bait. Oh, okay, well, another crawl. And crawls seem to be one of my favorites. Um, smells like plastic, no big deal. And you can use these for uh, chunks. For your jigs and um, I, if not then I would like uh, mojo it mojo rig it Texas rig it Texas weighted rig it um, what else I mean you know just basic you know so what I would like to do is just weight it down here because this floats I, I actually put it in water earlier uh, a couple days ago and it'll float up like this if you put your weight here, like for a Mojo or a Carolina rig or whatever, uh, and, or a weighted, text rig, a weighted Texas rig. They'll kind of do this, and that's kind of what you want because you want this crawdad to look like he's defending himself with his little claws, right? To make it realistic. So, yeah. Um, so far, I've, I love everything I've gotten. Also, some of that weird stuff so far, just so, you know, I got something to experiment with. Um, we have another um, crankbait. This is a square bill. This is by, um, uh, it says Echo. No, Rattle Trap. Good grief. Yeah, I, I, this is uh, Rattle Trap's version of a square bill. Let's see if I can get you any close to this book. There he goes, it's focusing in good. And again, it's a crawl um, imitation, and 
can't go wrong with this, right? Just can't go wrong with it. And this one says three to five feet depth. So now you know. Um, here is a, another um, Buddha Bates. I've gotten stuff from Buddha Bates before. And it looks like just a heavy duty worm, okay? Let's take a look at it. Oh my god, it's garlic. It's scented garlic. And this is a big time trick worm. Let's see if I can. Uh, Oh, wow. I mean, it's pretty long. Does it say how long? Well, I don't know, but it's it's a pretty long bait. So pretty long trick worm here. It has this curly tail, all right? You can, you can tell, all right? And uh, so if you whack your rig it, obviously it's going to do some really wild, crazy stuff and come down slow. Um, and I, I also uh, checked to see if this would um, float, and it does. And so you could Texas rig it, you could uh, you know, make it weedless, you could put a weight on here and uh, do the mojo thing, um, do the Nico rig, and whatever that little jig is, it imitates a Nico. I, I just, you know, I, I, I can't pull it out of my head right now. Um, you use those. Um, Z-Man, Turd, um, uh, Bates for it, I, it's, I just can't remember. But anyway, um, the Ned Rig, that's it, the Ned Rig. Yeah, you could Ned Rig this thing. And so it kind of floats up like this and grabs the fish's attention. And uh, good color, green, so you want this for uh, darker stain water. That's what I would. Uh, we have another crankbait. This time it's it's a regular crankbait. It's from what's well, Lucky Craft, but um, it's a shad looking. But it doesn't say how deep. I don't know. Give it a try. So um, it's a what does it say here? Glasses can't can't see with them. Can't see without them. That's all it says is Lucky Craft, produced by Lucky Craft, made in Japan. Um, pearl Threadfin Shad. Okay, so it's just a, uh, you know, almost like a sexy shad look almost. Let's see if I can focus in on that. There you go, guys. So, all right, that's the time of year. I mean. Uh, this is the right time of year to do all this stuff. All right, so you have a, a card along with the box that tells you the different baits and how much they are at retail. And this is supposed to be a $25 box. I think I added this up earlier and it was like 40 something bucks. And but I, I really don't know. I mean, you can find some good deals here and there. You get a uh, sticker, but this time it's a catch company sticker. They're trying to do a promotion. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what kind of promotion it is. And you got the Dibble Digest again, full of uh, tips and tricks and other stuff. So, uh, all right, so this Catch Co. has a, um, a sale, Black Friday sale. And you're supposed to text to this number, and I guess you get some discounts or something. And, uh, well, that's it. Those are uh, my last two boxes for, well, for November and the two boxes for October. So I'll try to uh, go ahead and start parsing this stuff out in my different tackle containers and, and move on from there. Again, obviously I haven't used this. Um, those are the boxes that I got. I'm sure you guys who are subscribers probably got other boxes or some things were the same, some things were different, but that's what I got. So. Until then, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.